Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Nies Goat at AZH Wound Center in Milwaukee. I'd like to introduce you to a very interesting case from a diagnostic standpoint. We here have a patient that presents with a four-year history of small wounds coming from uh, her abdomen. They've been draining. She's been seen by uh, multiple wound care clinics which have advised different uh, topicals and uh, that obviously uh, has not healed her. She's here in our clinic. Question is, what was missed? Why is this not healing? You would think that based on the appearance of this wound, it's healthy, it's uh, clean, it's granular, right? That it should heal quickly. Uh, that's not been the case and there's reasons why. And this is uh, thus the teaching point. If you look closely at her abdomen here, you'll see there's a surgical scar across here, a fantasy incision from a cesarean section. She also has evidence of a midline scar that you can see uh, that's intersection, intersected here. A good thorough uh, history reveals that the patient has had uh, a hernia repair with mesh placement. And if I probe the wound, I'll notice that just by probing the wound, I can feel some mesh. So we have a wound here that probes to mesh. Mesh is a foreign body. Mesh has now been colonized. This is infected. This will not heal despite any topical wound care efforts. This is a patient that needs to be referred to our surgeon colleagues uh, for exploration, mesh removal, and possible reconstruction. What you'll notice is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. The mesh is not this is the problem here. Rather, if you take and probe deeply, we'll find that this wound will undermine in a significant direction. And as you see, this probe goes all the way laterally here. So the wound actually extends this far, probably also goes into the direction of this other small wound here. And they probably communicate, but they probably communicate underneath the tissues. Probing this wound here, I can also feel evidence of mesh. So this patient has mesh involvement in both wounds. The proper management of a wound like this, as I mentioned, is referral to our surgical colleagues for exploration, debridement, and potential reconstruction. So I hope you enjoyed this clinical insight and this teaching moment. Uh, this is a patient that does require a surgical referral for debridement exploration and potential reconstruction. Hope you'd enjoyed this teaching moment brought to you from WebCME via the wound care window. Thank you.